Hi, I'm John, the interest-free banking systems engineer, Termel, and this is part three of the article in Yes Magazine by Ms. Ellen Brown, titled How Cash Starved States Can Create Their Own Credit, as she suggests to girly man Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger that they could also start a Bank of California like they have a Bank of North Dakota in case he doesn't want to pay his employees with small denomination bonds like Governor Macho Man in Argentina Roberto Romero was doing. Quote, what I'm proposing is not new. It has been done by one other state in the nation, North Dakota. Why should you continue to pay the banks for services and interest on loans when you can receive that interest for the benefit of the state of California? Wouldn't it be better if you could fund your own infrastructure projects without having to get the approval of independent banks or investment bankers? Additionally, you could set the interest rate on your own projects. You can even set it at zero if you deem the project worthy enough. So Ellis, continues Mrs. Brown, Ms. Brown, offered his services in setting up the bank, which he thought could be chartered in a few short months. The governor has not replied, but some pressure from constituents might encourage a response. Well, maybe they're as muscle-brained as their governor is. Fearing that, there is the initiative and referendum process pioneered in California. That's right. It allows state law to be proposed directly by the public and the state's constitution to be amended either by the public petition, the initiative, or by the legislature submitting a proposed constitutional amendment to the electorate, the referendum. The initiative is done by running a proposed constitutional amendment or statute as a petition, which is submitted to the California Attorney General, along with a submission fee, which was a modest $200 in 2004. The petition must be signed by registered voters amounting to 8%, for a constitutional amendment, or 5% for a statute of the number of people who voted in the most recent election for governor. As Gandhi said, when the people lead, the leaders follow. What happens when only one person leads? They don't follow. We the people can beat the Wall Street bankers at their own game by moving our legislators to set up publicly owned banks that create credit for them by using the same banking principles that are accepted as standard and usual in the trade by bankers themselves. Alan Brown, J.D., wrote this article in March 2009 for Path to a New Economy, a collection of online articles for Yes! Magazine on economic and financial solutions. They've done articles on community currencies for years. Yes! Magazine. Ellen developed her research skills as an attorney practicing civil litigation in Los Angeles. In Web of Debt, her latest book, she turns those skills to an analysis of the Federal Reserve and the Money Trust. She shows how this private cartel has usurped the power to create money from the people themselves and how we the people can get it back. Her 11 books include the best-selling Nature's Pharmacy, co-authored with Dr. Lynn Walker, Forbidden Medicine. Her sites are webofdebt.com and ellenbrown.com. Buy Web of Debt, read her next book. Good for her. Well, guess what? She wrote a letter to Governor Musclebrain, says May the 26th. But Governor, you can create money. Just form your own bank. I guess she's going to repeat what the other fella told the Governor Musclebrain. But who knows how many times he's got to be told before it gets through. Remember now, muscled through all the way, right? Um, quote, I understand that these cuts are very painful and they affect real lives. This is the harsh reality and the reality that we face. Sacramento's not Washington. We cannot print our own money. We can only spend what we have. Unquote. Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger quoted in Time, May 22nd, 2009, the impotent no go dad governor. So she says, Christmas comes early, Governor. You can't print your own money. Fiscally solvent North Dakota is doing it. So can California now. In a May 22nd article in Time titled Billions in the Red, Fiscal Reckoning in California, Juliet Williams reports that since California voters have now vetoed higher taxes and further state government borrowing, Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger has indicated that he intends to close the budget gap almost entirely through that drastic spending cuts. Remember, he can't print his own money, he can't start his own bank, he can't pay people with bonds, he can only lay people off. 
The cutbacks could include laying off thousands of state workers and teachers, ending the state's main welfare program for the poor, eliminating health coverage for about 1.5 million poor children, halting cash grants for 77,000 college students, slashing money for state parks, and releasing thousands of prisoners before their sentences are finished. Schwarzenegger bemoaned the fact that the state could not print its own money, but said it could only spend what it had. Poor fella, doesn't know about the other alternative, never penetrated. But the state can create its own money. After all, banks do this every day. Certified card-carrying bankers are allowed to do something nobody else can do. They can create credit with accounting entries on their books, as the Federal Reserve Bank of Dallas explains on its website. Banks actually create money when they lend it. Here's how it works. Most of a bank's loans are made to its own customers and are deposited in their checking accounts. Because the loan becomes a new deposit, just like a check does, the bank holds a small percentage of that new amount in reserve and again lends the remainder to someone else, repeating the money creation process many times. Perfect example of double think. If they're lending out the money, old money, well then the new money didn't go up. So this statement that they lend out the remainder to someone else is wrong. But it goes to show the double thing, that she can believe it's new money, creating new money, and it's old money at the same time. It's not. They don't lend out the remainder to someone else. They lend out brand new chips. Error. Miss Brown, 